Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenscarcollection.com and today's video is all about the 2020 BMW M2 CS. If you follow the channel, you know that I own a 2016 BMW M2. Uh, we actually have an M2 competition review coming up. I just drove that car a couple weeks ago. I'll be editing that video shortly and probably get it out to you this month. And uh, now comes the big daddy, the M2 CS. We're going to go over everything with this car, good and bad. Uh, so remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video. Like and share this video so our channel can grow. And as always, leave a comment below. So there's some great things about the M2 CS and not so good things. So we'll go over everything here and then you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to comment on every video. Good news is limited numbers. We'll get to that later in the video. So that's uh, great, like my BMW 1 Series M. The M2 and the M2 competition were not limited. Now, there are four colors available. Hockenheim Silver, that we had as a carryover from the M2 competition. Black Sapphire, that's been available on the M2 and the M2 competition. Alpine White, that's been available on both. And Long Beach Blue now has been replaced by Misano Blue, and that's what you see in this video here. Another great thing about the M2 CS, it is rear wheel drive and available with two transmission choices, a six speed manual, which is standard and a dual clutch transmission. Now it's still powered by the S55 engine. Some people would rather not be, but it is, uh, which is derived from the M4. It's a three liter twin turbo producing 404 horsepower, which is 40 more than the M2 competition and 406 foot-pounds of torque. Now, BMW claims, and BMW claim, uh, 0 to 60 times are very conservative, so you should be able to beat these times. Uh, 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds with the standard six-speed manual, and if you opt for the dual clutch, four seconds flat. But please, this is going to be a limited number car. Get it in manual. Now, there's some cool options. You can get ceramic brakes. Now, I'm a big fan of ceramic brakes on the track, not so much on the street, so you decide if that's worth it. Uh, there's also the driver's pack, which raises the top uh, speed to 174 miles an hour. Uh, you're going to have adaptive dampers. M Sport brakes are standard. Now, the steering has been tuned by M, which is great, and there's going to be an active M differential that'll work with the traction control to give greater agility, and that's the reason you're buying the M2 over an M3 or M4, and it's also supposed to help reduce understeer. Now, if you hit the MDM button, you should get a greater degree of wheel slip. New front splitter, trunk spoiler, rear diffuser. This car has it all. Now there's going to be uh, there are going to be 19 inch wheels and you have two tire choices. So Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s and be honest with yourself how you're going to use the car or you can get Michelin Super Sports at no cost. Now supposedly there's going to be an exhaust function and we need this desperately with the S55. That'll make it a sound worthy of an M model. So that sounds great. Now you have uh, the lightweight seats that you see in the pictures from the M4 CS. And unlike the M4 CS and the M3 CS, you can actually get this car with a manual transmission. All right. So now prices haven't been announced at the time of this filming here in the United States. It's going to cost 75,320 euros. And that's base price. So a direct conversion and again, that conversion changes every day. Right now, right this second is about $83,000. So I've heard anything between 80 to 90 to start. Obviously, you're going to pile all those options. And realistically, the car is probably going to come in at either in the high 80s, low 90s, mid 90s. Who knows? Maybe 100,000 if you check every option. Now, as far as uh, being limited, which I love because the M2 or the M2 competition wasn't limited, but my 1 Series M was limited. And that's really held, held its value. Again, a lot less of them. Uh, well, not less of them, actually. Maybe uh, less M2 CSs. So there's 741 M's in the United States, about, I think, 6,000 in the world. So for the M2 CS, there's only going to be 2,200 in the world. Now, it hasn't been decided how many are coming to the United States. Could be a couple hundred. Could be 300. Could be 600. Could be 900. Could be 1,200. We don't know. So it'll be interesting to see. And obviously, that's going to determine if this could be a collectible car or or not, depending how many they sell. Now, another downside of buying this car, you're going to pay through the nose to get one. If it's really limited, I'm sure dealers are going to charge you way over sticker. And something to keep in mind is there's an all new two series on the horizon. So then that's going to have the same thing. We're going to have an M2 based on the new two series, an M2 comp, and probably another M2 CS. So what makes the 1M 
very collectible besides being a great car is they can never make another 1M. There's never going to be another 1 Series sold here where they'll have an M version. But there'll be 2 Series here for years, for 20 years, and there'll be a lot of M2 versions and M2 CSs and possibly M2 uh, CSLs. So that'll really depend on uh, how many they sell here, how many they have, whether this is a future collectible. So let me know your thoughts. Do you like the options? Do you like that it still has the S55 engine? Do you like that it has uh, both transmission choices? What would you get? What's your spec? Is uh, What transmission, what color would you get? And let me know if you think this can be a future collectible. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and most of all, leave a comment below because I read each and every one and I will respond. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.